Okay, uh, here's our last video, or one of our last few videos on complex numbers. It's the last topic anyway, it's called De Moivre's Theorem. Uh, and it's probably the most useful thing about writing complex numbers in the polar form, okay? So I'll just go through it. It says if a complex number is written in the polar form like this, yes, we've seen this before, z is equal to or by cos theta plus i sine theta, then z to the power of n, okay, so this can be any number, one, two, three, four, five, uh, is equal to, so we're just putting this whole thing to the power of n. Basically what it says is that it's equal to or to the power of n multiplied by cos of n theta plus i sine n theta. And the reason this is so useful, we're going to see in our example here. So it's asking us to write i or 1 plus i to the power of 10 in the form of x plus y i. So if we were to write this whole, if we were to multiply this out 10 times, it would just take us absolutely forever. Uh, it would be really monotonous and it wouldn't be really enjoyable. But if we just change it to the polar form, we can do this quite quickly using De Moivre's theorem, okay? So I'll go ahead and start this. We're going to start by changing it to the polar form, which is by using our tricks here. So we've seen this in other videos. This is going to be 1, this is going to be 1, and this is going to be or. Okay, so or is going to be equal to the square root of... 1 squared plus 1 squared, so or is equal to the square root of 2, okay? Theta is going to be equal to the inverse tan of 1 over 1, so theta is going to be equal to pi over 4, okay? So now we have our two numbers here. We can write, write our complex number in the polar form, okay? So z is going to be equal to pi over 2 multiplied by cos, sorry, I said, sorry, I said pi over 2, I mean, z is equal to the square root of 2 multiplied by cos of pi over 4 plus i sine of pi over 4, okay, I'll put those in the square brackets, which is what I meant to do, pretend that's square. Okay, uh, so this is our complex number in the polar form. So now we're going to apply De Moivre's theorem and put it to the power of 10. Okay, so we're looking for z to the power of 10. So that's going to be equal to the square root of 2 to the power of 10 multiplied by cos of 10 multiplied by pi over 4. Okay, plus i sine. 10 multiplied by pi over 4, okay? And then 10 multiplied by pi over 4 is just going to be uh, 5 pi over 2. So basically we're going to skip this next stage and we're just going to uh, stick this into the calculator. So if you do the square root of 2 to the power of 10 multiplied by cos 10 pi over 4, you're going to get the following. So we're going to get z to the power of 10 is going to be equal to well, let's say just, it's going to be 32 multiplied by 0, so this ends up being 0, and this ends up being actually just 1i, okay? So our final answer is um, z to the power of 10 is equal to 0 plus 32i, okay? So that was very much quicker than multiplying, where is it? 1 plus i out 10 times, okay? So that's what the Myvers theorem is, and that's why it is so useful.